We are joined by Chief Scott Kerwood, who is the Chair of Safety, Health, and Survival Section. Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Good morning. So talk to us about the importance of behavioral health, PTSD, suicide prevention in regards to the fire department. Yes, ma'am. So Safety, Health, and Survival Section has been involved with behavioral health and uh, in, in helping to improve the service when it comes to behavioral health for firefighters for several years. Um, we sit we, on the National, so National Action Alliance for Suicide Prevention. Uh, suicides in the fire service are things that we start to see an increase. Uh, a lot of anecdotal information, no real research studies that are out there on the fire service and suicide but we know that the trauma that firefighters go through on a daily basis lead to these things. Uh, um, we see this in society and so we know that it happens in the fire service as a whole. Other things are um, workplace bullying, workplace violence. Workplace violence in America, whether it's postal service, fire service, government service, or private industry is, is terrible out there. We started several years ago working on uh, workplace bullying. Um, we worked with uh, the IFC and now we are working with a group called the Workplace Bullying Institute. And just this, uh, this FRI, we held a, uh, a pre-conference workplace bullying summit where we're doing a train the trainer program for um, firefighters, chief officers, take back to their fire departments to implement a program to prevent workplace violence and workplace bullying. Fantastic. Another really important issue that you talk about is cancer prevention. Can you talk to us about what efforts have been made over the past year? Yes, ma'am. Uh, again, we, we are working with um, different organizations such as the Firefighter Cancer Support Network and putting the way to the IFC behind it to help uh, prevent cancer, to reduce cancer. Myself, I am a cancer survivor this time last year was facing that. So it makes that a little more personal with me than uh, before it was, it, it, while well, it was important, it, it's even a little bit more important now. Um, we are holding a, a meeting on Friday with the Cancer Support Network just to see how we can join forces a little bit more to aid each other to, to prevent this. And I understand that there is a, a new conference uh, coming out, the PPE Summit. Yes, we are working with uh, protective clothing manufacturers. We will be holding a summit with them uh, within the next few months to where we're going to be discussing things as changes in technology and protective clothing. How can they, what can they do to prevent uh, occupational illnesses such as cancer? Um, what changes are they making? Uh, they, they make, they, they tweak and they make changes, but we want to kind of really see what the next level is that they're going to. HSO and ISO are two new pre-conferences that you were telling me about. Explain exactly what's going on with those. Yes, a HSO stands for Health Safety Officer. ISO stands for Incident Safety Officer. These are two programs that have been taught for several years by the Fire Department Safety Officer Association. We saw benefit in joining forces with them to bring their training and their testing to FRI. Um, so again, in that partnership, in that collaboration, we work with them. Uh, classes run about 20 to 24 students, and we get more people instructed in these positions. Chief Kerwood, thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations on being a cancer survivor. Thank you for all of your information on this. Thank you.